Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My third the graders, hopefully that you are doing well. Today we are going to discuss a new topic at your English book or grammar book, which is the subject of a sentence. We know that in a sentence, it's like a bird, it has two wings. One of them is the subject or the door of the verb. The other uh, wing is the predicate. Okay, so the sentence, it's what? We discussed it before, good. It's a group of words that contain, okay, a subject and a verb. But at the same time, it must express a complete idea or thought. So we have three things are needed for a sentence to be completed. The first one, subject, then verb, and this subject and the verb must express a complete thought or idea. Like I can say, he gives. It's not a complete thought. He gives what? Even it's a subject and the verb. Also, I can't say, my brother. What does he do or what did he do? Okay? Also, as you saw, that the sentence consists of two parts, subject and the predicate. The subject of a sentence is the part about which something is being said, okay? What makes a sentence? As you can see, we have three sentences here. The first one, he smiled. Second one, my family visited Abha. Third one, the park district will open an outdoor ice skating rink in November, okay? The sentence, it has two parts. So sentences have two parts, subject and predicate. But again, I, I repeat, it, this subject and the predicate must give a complete thought. The subject, it must be a noun or a rule noun. The predicate, the main predicate, which is, or the simple predicate, the verb, and the full predicate, the completion of the sentence. You can see here we have two questions I can ask myself to know is it a subject or not, or where is the subject? Like, who did or does the action, or what does or did the action, okay? Like he smiled. So where is the subject? He. And where is the predicate? Smiled. Good. Also, we have my family. So this is the subject. Visited Abha is the predicate. Number three, the park district will open in November. So the park district is the subject and will open in November is the predicate. Here, it shows you that the subject can be one word or a group of words. The same for the predicate, it can be just the verb or the verb and object or the sentence may have a completion. It's a good example that we can see here a picture of a bike. We can say that a sentence is like a bike which has two wheels. The first wheel we can call it the subject and the second wheel we can call it the predicate. The bike can't go without the two wheels, okay? Can't go without the two wheels, subject and predicate. So the subject is one wheel and the predicate is the other wheel. Okay, those two parts are connected together to make one sentence. Okay, now how to divide the sentence? Here we are using a line to separate the subject from the predicate. To know the subject, I have to ask myself, what is the subject here? And to know the predicate, what does the subject do? So here, the first one, he smiles. 
it will be the subject will be he, okay, and the predicate will be smile. Number two, my family visited Abha. The subject here, my family, and the predicate visited Abha. Why? Because my family did that action, visited. So it's a visited Abha, it's a predicate. Number three, the park district will open in November. The park district is the subject and cause it will open in November. This is the predicate, the action which will happen. Okay, as I said before, we have a complete subject. It may be one word or more than one word. Also, we said that the subject either it's a noun or pronoun, okay? And all words around it. Like if you can see here, the cheerful yellow flower. Wow, we have here around the three or four words. All those are the complete subject, okay? Then the predicate or the action brighten the front porch. Brighten the front porch is the predicate. This is the complete, again, this is the complete subject, but the main subject only lower, okay? And the main predicate brighten, okay? So the cheerful yellow flower is the complete subject, okay? As you can see here, the two wheels, the cheerful yellow flower is the subject or the first wheel, and brighten the front porch is the second wheel, both of them together form a sentence. Hopefully that you understood today's session. Thanks for watching and goodbye.